Happening here, it's time to get in motion for an important cause. The Walk to Defeat ALS is coming up this month, which helps support the ALS Association of Rhode Island. And here now to tell us all about it are Mary Sangarakis and Wendy Kudo. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Very nice to have you here. Wendy, Good a pleasure. pleasure. You know, I was chatting with you both earlier, and you, you each, each of you have a very close association to this. If you could share your stories with the audience out there. Uh, I will be happy to. Um, I am the uh, team captain of Christopher's Pals, and Christopher is my husband. He was diagnosed five years ago with ALS, uh, and uh, we have been participants in the walk, which is the reason why we're here to talk about, um, for the last four years. Um, Christopher is uh, right now uh, quite progressed. Uh, he's paralyzed and needs 24-7 care. Right. And. Uh, the reason why uh, I think I'm uh, uh, quite uh, uh, strongly uh, uh, supporting the uh, ALS Association here in Rhode Island is because they're there for families with ALS as well as patients with ALS. Right, and, and Wendy, for you, certainly you um, champion this cause for a special reason. Yes, um, I lost a dear friend and colleague, um, Pete Rieblin, to ALS March of 2016. So I uh, created a team in honor of him, Pete's Angels, and we participate in the Walk to Defeat ALS. It really is remarkable when people come together to support this. Yes. By, by getting behind it, by registering, by doing any little thing, they really are helping the ALS Association to continue to fight. You couldn't make those strides without the help of the people, could you? Absolutely, and it is very important uh, to remember that uh, ALS became uh, a known disease uh, four years ago, uh, I think it was four years ago, with the uh, Ice Bucket Challenge. Um, so w a lot of funds were raised as a result at the national level. However, right here at the community level in Rhode Island, what makes a difference to ALS, people with ALS and their families is the local chapter. It provides very valuable support for, support for families, which include the multidisciplinary clinic, which is a place for patients to go and see all of their doctors in one shot. Something very important because most of the ALS uh, patients are uh, very restricted in their in their movement. Right, and when we see the video there, you know, we kind of see people having fun with it, but it's all to make other people out there more cognizant, more aware of what this is. And certainly if we can have fun, that's great, but it's for a very serious cause, which leads us to Absolutely. the upcoming walk. What do we need to know in terms right. of place and time and date? Well, it's held on um, Sunday, September 17th um, at Confrida Sports Com Complex. Um, it is a one-mile handicap accessible um, ceremonial walk. Um, it's a great day for all. I mean, they have an um, activity zone for kids. There's music, t-shirts, refreshments for all. And our own Mike Montecalvo from WPRI 12 will Absolutely. be involved. Yes. He's a hosting machine. Yes. Nothing he can is. stop him. Yes. <laughs> and he's a great man. He is. And you know, it's not too late for anyone if they want to like create a team, join a team, um, make a donation. Perfect. We actually need volunteers that day. You can um, simply go to walkri.org. It's a wonderful thing, ladies. We can't thank you enough for sharing your stories with us, and we wish you the best of luck with this year's walk. Thank Mary, you very thank much you very for much. having us. So much peace of we appreciate it. Having you yeah. here to get more information on the walk and to maybe put a team together yourself as Wendy alluded to just head to roadshow.com